In this video, we are going to see some important multiple choice questions from unit 2 in embedded and real time systems. First question ARM stands for option A advanced rate machine, advanced risk machine, artificial running machines, aviary running machines. So, ARM stands for advanced risk machine. So, option B is the right answer. Second question, ARM processes were basically designed for mainframe systems, distributed systems, mobile systems, supercomputers. Always remember ARM processor are mainly designed for mobile systems. So, option C is the right answer. Third question, the address system supported by ARM system is Little Indian, Big Indian, X, Little Indian, both Little and Big Indian. Option D is the right answer. It supports both Little and Big Indian. Next question. Memory can be accessed in ARM systems by dash instructions. So, here 5 instructions are given. We have to choose which is the correct instruction. So, here store and move instructions are used for accessing memory so option b is the right answer in the arm um, pc is implemented using pc means program counter it is implemented by using general purpose register option c is the right answer the instructions which are used to load or store multiple operands are called as block transfer instructions. Option C is the right answer. Dash instruction is used to get once complement of the operand. MVN. So, this is the instruction used for getting the once complement. So, option D is the right answer. The pseudo instruction used to load an address into the register is ADR. Option B is the right answer. Next question. The stack follows the sequence. First in first out, first in last out, last in first out, last in last out. Option C is the right answer. That is last in first out, LIFO. Next question. If the processor is executing the main program that calls a subroutine, then after executing the main program up to the call instruction, the control will be transferred to answer is option B, subroutine address. Next question. This stack is accessed using Option A, SP register, SS register, SP and SS register, none of the mentioned. So, here option C is the right answer. Stack can be accessed using SP and SS register. As the storing of data words onto the stack is increased, the stack pointer is decremented by 2. So, option D is the right answer. While retrieving data from the stack, the stack pointer is incremented by 2. So, option B is the right answer. The process of storing the data in the stack is called pushing into the stack. So, option C is the right answer. Next question. The instruction based on the stack operations are also known as zero address or implied instructions because Address gets updated automatically in stack pointer. Processor can refer a memory stack without specifying the address. So, both A and B is the correct answer. Next question. What does the last instruction of each subroutine that transfer the control to the instruction in the calling program with temporary address storage is called as Return from subroutine. So, option C is the right answer. LPC 2148 Pro Development Board has 
512k on chip memory so option c is the right in lpc 2148 we require separate programmer so it is false so option b is the right which lcd display is present in the lpc 2148 development board 2 into 16 lcd on chip so option d is the right answer. who is the founder of lpc 2148 board philips option d is the right answer. what does uart stands for so u stands for universal a stands for asynchronous r stands for receiver and T transfer transmitter. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. How is data detected in UART? Using clock, we can detect the data. So, option C is the answer. What rate can define the timing in UART? So, here option B is the right answer. Baud rate. Which is the most commonly used UART? 8250. Option D is the right. Why are the pulse width modulated outputs required in most of the applications? So, to control the average value of the output variables, we need pulse width modulated outputs. So, option B is the answer. What would be the resolution value? If oscillator and PWM frequencies are 16 MHz and 2 MHz respectively. Option B is the right answer. 3. How do the variations in an average value get affected by PWM period? So here shorter the PWM period, faster will be the variation in an average value. So option B is the right where should the value TX 9 bit be loaded during the 9 bit transmission in an asynchronous mode? TX STA is the right answer. Option A is the right answer. How is the baud rate specified for high speed operation in an asynchronous mode? So for high speed operation, it is specified as FOSC that is oscillating frequency divided by 16 into X plus 1. Which of the following helps in the generation of waveforms? For generating waveforms, we use timer. So, option A is the right answer. Which bit size determines the slowest frequency? Prescalar value. Option B is the right answer. Which of the following register in ARM7 is used to point to the location of currently executing instruction in a program? R15. Option C is the right answer. Evaluate the following statements and select the appropriate answer given from the choices below. So, we have to check whether the, these two statements are true or not. So, Von Neumann architecture shares common memory for data and instruction. Hardware architecture has separate memory for data and instruction. Both the statements are true. Therefore, option C is the right answer. If the most significant byte is stored first while ordering byte values for storing data in the memory is called as big Indian mode. So, option A is the right answer. Which of the following processors belong to the reduced instruction set computer family? ARM, AVR, MIPS, everything comes under risk family. Therefore, option D is the right answer. Which of the following statements are true? So, here four statements are given. In little endian mode, it is easier to determine a sign of the number. Little endian mode is easier for addition and multiplication of multiprecision numbers. Big endian mode is easier to divide two numbers. Big endian mode is easier to compare two numbers. Answer is option D because first two statements are false. Third and fourth statements are true. Consider a 4-bit ALU which does 4-bit arithmetic. When the following 4-bit numbers are added, what is the status of NZCV flags? So, while adding these two numbers, 
you will be getting option D as the answer. N is it C V that is its zero value, carry value, overflow value. That value is equal to one zero one zero. The M clock speed can be reduced to allow the access to slower peripherals. So option B is the right. How many bits are required to specify register operands in an ARM7 instruction? 4 bits are required. Option C is the right answer. An instruction that is used to move data from ARM register to a status register is called MSR. Option C is the right answer. Next question. Instruction used to test Equality of two 32-bit values in ARM7 is called TEQ. Option A is the right answer. In a 32-bit IEEE 754 notation, biased value of exponent value ranges from minus 126 to plus 127. So, option A is the right answer. The fastest data access is provided using registers. Option D is the right answer. The average time required to reach a storage location in memory and obtain its content is called as access time. Option B is the right answer. The cache memory acts between CPU and main memory. Option A is the right answer. A band limited signal can be reconstructed exactly if it is sampled at a rate at least twice the maximum frequency in accuse rate. So option B is the right answer. The main advantage of PWM is that power loss in the switching devices is very very low. So option B is the right answer. In DC motor interfacing which modulation controls the duty cycle of a square wave provided at the output by generating variations in the average DC voltage? Pulse width modulation. Option C is the right answer. What is the value of maximum data rate in RS-232 standard? 20 kilobits per second. Option A is the right answer. Dash instruction transfer the content of CPSR into a register 5. Option C is the right answer. MSR. Now we have come to the end of the session. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.